in the boot when the car was checked at the Mayo Center roundabout by wildlife officials who had prior information of the nature of the products the car was transporting. The operation was carried out with the collaboration of the judicial police in Ebolova with the technical assistance of a non-governmental organization called LAGA, Elga Cameroon. Wildlife officials and policemen had been monitoring the movement of the car that halted at the junction in Mayo. They immediately approached and blocked the car at both levels. Two men were found at the back seat and were ordered to step out. The message I will pass to traffickers is that they should stop trafficking, especially on endangered species like uh, elephant and all whatnot. They should not venture with those type of animals. Those are animals we are protecting. We want our future generation to see the species. If these species are completely wiped out, then I don't know where we are heading to. Cameroon will not be The South region is considered by wildlife law enforcement experts as the hotbed for ivory trafficking with localities such as Njum, Ambam and Ebolova, the epicenters. The regional delegation is stepping up collaborative efforts to ensure that enforcement measures are adapted to the intensity of the trafficking. Thank you very much, Kembe Gochi. You got all the message that we could have given you in that report. Wildlife trafficking is dangerous, and even aiding wildlife traffickers by all means is dangerous. So you need to keep away from that. What you don't need to keep away from is singing and doing gospel singing if you love it. One person who lost it is right here. It's just a tender singer. Jennifer Farr, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. And you? Happy to have you. I'm good. Okay, thank Tell you. me about uh, your singing. How long have you been singing? So I've been singing sings, um I had four years old. Okay. I used to do playback in school, some acapellas, 